Today in our 2007 Hyundai Sonata, we'll be installing the Kurt Hitch part number 11325. This is what our hitch will look like once it's installed. Next, we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements to assist you with selecting accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is five and a half inches. From the top of the receiver tube to the ground is 12 and a quarter inches. This will assist you with selecting accessories such as a bike rack or a cargo carrier. Now let's go ahead with the installation. Before we can install the hitch, we'll need to go ahead and lower the exhaust. To do this, we'll remove the four exhaust hangers so that we can lower both sides. This is a dual exhaust application, so there is no underbody trim panel that will need to be removed. Three of these four will have a bolt that we can remove to simply detach them. Keep in mind it may be easier to remove the bolts if you spray them down with a little spray lubricant also. The fourth one is just a rubber isolator that we'll spray down with some spray lubricant and then use our pry bar or flat blade screwdriver to remove. Now with our exhaust lowered down, we'll need to remove the heat shields for both mufflers. There's a total of four fasteners for each. Let's go ahead and remove them now. With the heat shields out of the way, you can see it exposes the frame rails and the two weld nuts in the side of the frame rail that will be four of our five attachment points for this hitch. Before we attempt to install our fasteners, however, we're going to want to clean out the weld nuts as they will build up with dust, dirt, and debris over time. Using some spray lubricant and a half inch nylon tube brush, part number 814092, we can thoroughly clean out these weld nuts. Keep in mind, in extreme cases, it may be necessary to get a tap to run through the threads. Now with the weld nuts cleaned out, we'll go ahead and take one of the new 10 millimeter fasteners and thread it into the weld nut to make sure it'll go nice and easily. Our fifth attachment point will be the tow hook. Our tow hook hardware will be a 7 16 spacer block, 7 16 carriage bolt with a 7 16 conical tooth washer with the teeth of the washer facing the hitch and a nut. Now we're ready to go ahead and start installing our hardware. We'll install the hardware for the tow hook first. For this application, it's necessary to remove the four fasteners securing the rear bumper fascia to get the 7 16 carriage bolt and block in place. We'll go ahead and do that now. Now we'll go ahead and pull back on the bumper fascia and drop our block and carriage bolt into place and then we can reattach the bumper fascia. Now with that done, we're ready to go ahead and put our hitch in place. We'll start by securing it here at the tow hook Again, with our 7 16 conical tooth washer and nut. Now, with the tow hook hardware holding our hitch in place, we can go ahead and start installing the frame fasteners, which will be our 10 millimeter bolt, along with our conical tooth washer and the teeth of the washer facing the hitch. Now with all four fasteners installed finger tight, we'll go ahead and run them down. With that completed, 
we can go back and torque each fastener to specifications as indicated in the instructions. Now we're ready to go ahead and reinstall the heat shields and exhaust. And with that done, this will complete the install of our Kurt Hitch part number 11325 on our 2007 Hyundai Sonata.